Well, I said I was going to preach on the end times today. Everybody seems interested in people all over the place. Good subject. So, if you want to hear preaching, where would you go? Check your Do I hear you preach your blood now? I like that. I think so. Where would you go? Well, you're 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 sort of close, but you're you're still a little cool. You're only a little one. First, first Thessalonians chapter five. But what does that one say? I mean, that, that's a hot spot. What does that one say? Nobody knows Eli. Come on, we, we shouldn't have to even preach this. They have your phone on you? <clears throat> no, I'd like you. to have your phone. We're not allowed to use it. What are we using it tonight? <coughs> so what is 1 Thessalonians 5? Uh, <coughs> Our, without G, you're G. Huh? And it comes how? Deep in the night. There, Pastor's guy, did you read it? Did you cheat? I looked down. Well, you preached this last week. You preached this last week about midnight and all that stuff. I preached it? I did the evening. Did you preach it? 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 How do we get back to where we were just at here 15 minutes ago? I'm back to this, but not that. I want to go beyond, beyond that. But earlier than we had. No, I'm going to go right where we were. Well, you did it. Go to the, those max net text messages. I don't know how to work that thing. All right, but that'll be close enough. I the first I know. I know. I know. I know. I just before that. I know. 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 Chapter 5. Chapter 5. First Thessalonians 5. Now, it, it, this is crucial to the message. You see, it, 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 so I decided to add it to the message because it just happened. Our, our title tonight back there, uh, you call it glass of water. Is the end times. Now I have preached out of here before, but more than once. And after a while it gets to the old hat. First Thessalonians, but of the time and season, brother, you have no need that right of you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon the woman, the child, they shall not escape. I mean, the day the baby's delivered, and there ain't no stopping. Uh, but you, brother, are not in the darkness, that they should overtake to his feet. And, and on and on it goes. It's the end times, the second coming of Christ. Father, bless now, to preach it, that you would use it, and that you would edify the, the brethren. Who here doesn't know that the Lord is coming back? Everybody knows that. Lost people know that. They know that the Lord is coming. And everybody's anxious, or not anxious, but they're all wondering. What are the things that they're wondering about the Lord coming back? What are the things they're wondering about? When? When is he coming? When? Huh? Are they, are you safe? Are you going to go or not? You know, what we're hopeful you're going, right? 
When is he coming? Are you going to be one of those that are going to be taken away in the rapture? What else do they know or curious about? Where? Pardon? Where? I can't hear you. Where, maybe? Okay, where? Where you're going to be or uh, where the Lord lands? You know, where's touchdown? Mount of Olives. Uh, oh, I know that. But you see, we don't have to go to these verses to already know. After you hear so many sermons on this. He's not, he's not touching down. He's going to split the thing and, wide open. And, 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 oh, well, that's true. That's true. He's not touching down the first time. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and, and you stand corrected. He's not touching down the first time. He's touching down the second time. Yeah. But after so many times of this, it actually gets, I hate to say boring, but it, it's old hat. As a thief in the night, well, a thief comes in, he doesn't want to be heard, he doesn't want to be seen, and what does he take? The valuables. The valuables. So you are the pearl of great price, you're the buried treasure of the earth that he bought, he, he redeemed the earth, folks. He has, to, he has to cleanse the heavens, the Bible says. He, he gets the valuables. He, he comes and goes. Sometimes the crook comes into the house, the thief comes in, and you don't even know he went into the jewelry box. Because a lot of times, ladies, you don't go in your jewelry box every day. And wear the good stuff. Right? If you have any good stuff, you don't even wear it. And we, we go over this, and, and in after a while it gets to be old hat. And so just before we preach this, oh my goodness, yeah. the screen's black. Oh, no, it's not. At the bottom, at the bottom of the little thing. Oh, oh now, how do you get back to that? Hit the, bar, hit the bar at the bottom. Yeah, it's like you swipe up. Swipe up. Yeah. All right, this is what we got on our ding dong here. Watch Travis Scott, The Scary Truth, on YouTube. Now, what's that about? A rapper. Oh, it's a rapper. What, what about, what's the scary truth there? Oh, uh, about the people that died. Okay, is it about end times, where they're going? Yeah. Did you fax uh, something up, fax, text, whatever that is? This is about... We get these, these about, yeah. we get these updates. We get updates. I'm not saying you should give me updates. We get updates. Our first point. Want to know why? For the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write on you. I don't think you know, my dad used to say this. He, I would, uh, he would say something, and I would go be prison. Like, what? 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 What would be? What, what's the old time response to that? Anybody know what the old timers' response to that? The old cliche. Do I need to write you a letter? Right? Do I need to write you a letter? He says there's no need to write you a letter. I don't have to write to you. You already know this. You already know this. So our first point is the longing for the Lord. You are longing for the Lord so that you don't need to have preaching done. You do, you do some of your own research and click, click online and you see what's going on with our government and worldwide and with COVID and uh, maybe some other things. Anything else going on? You know, people are losing their jobs. Companies are going apart. Inflation. Uh, people are losing their jobs. Businesses are going broke. Inflation is hitting your pocketbook. And, and But it's not just in America. This is worldwide. You need, you need not that anybody write to you. The handwriting, as the old cliche, which is in Daniel, is the handwriting is on the wall. And you, you don't need to have me or uh, Paul saying here, you don't have to have me write. Everybody seems to know all this. You know all this already. Because there's a, a longing for the Lord. You have a longing for the Lord. So that you've taken you up. You're, you're, whether it's true or false, you're doing research on this, and you're getting information. Anybody else getting information off of here? Don't, don't lie to me. You don't lie to me. You're glued to this thing like a, like uh, right to rice. Is, is that what they say? 
So if we were to <coughs> have some learning, Old Testament, right in the beginning of Genesis, what's the rapture? Who's the one that's raptured out? Enoch. Enoch is raptured. Then what is what is Noah's Ark? The Jews going through the great tribulations. It all fits like a glove. All right? All, all this kind of stuff. You know, the three tiers, the uh, single door, uh, the, the sending of the ravens, the sending of the, uh, of the, uh, the dove, all these types that are all throughout the Bible. And, and we can preach the rapture of the church the church salvation throughout all of that it, it's 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 everywhere if you if you really are looking for it if you're looking for it it's there uh easily seen once 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 you start and, and sometimes you can find it on your own uh one time i found one thing on my own i said man look at that look at that and the pastor said well i should teach some of that simple stuff again he should have said that to me that was an insult and I thought, man, I made this great discovery. But there's things that you can discover on your own. You know, you want to get the, like a child, you want to be able to feed yourself. There's the learning from the Lord. The Lord is teaching us. The learning from the Lord. And so what are they doing? What's our next L word? They are looking for the Lord, aren't they? It's all on your cell phones. I mean, the drums are beating. You know, drums along the Mohawk. The drums are beating. People are really, really excited about this. So there's the looking for the Lord. Look at verse 6 and 7. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But we are to be what? We're watching. We're to be the looking for looking for the Lord. We need to be looking for Him and looking for signs and such. After we're raptured out, the, the, the sun turning to blood and, and great convulsions in the heavens and on the earth, answering the great tribulation, we're going to be out of here. But these, these rumblings, uh, name off some rumblings. What are some rumblings? Wars and rumors of wars. Earthquakes. Earthquakes in diverse places. Pestilences. Pestilences. Pestilence. Which one? COVID. <laughs> Which number? One nine. One nine. COVID nineteen. Pestilence. I mean, I think it's a it's a sign. These are signs. These are rumblings. That are, uh, I mean, you can, you can look to the west and see the clouds billowing and the clouds coming. And when you see that dark clouds coming, you know a storm's coming. When you see these things, you, we should be able to say his coming is right around the corner. We should be looking for the Lord. Looking for the Lord. We need to be awake. Verses 8 and 11 through 11. Now, folks, we're doing the whole chapter about. The end times. Verses 8 through 11. But let us, who are the day, be sober. But he had the breastplate of faith and love. And for a moment, the hope of salvation. Part of the uh, great, uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the armor of God. Yes, thank you. For God has not appointed us to wrap, uh, uh, to wrap folks. God has not appointed us to that. Uh, first, uh, okay, first Thessalonians 1.10. Uh, what is that? What does that say? And to wait for a son from heaven, whom he hath raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivered us from the wrath to come, folks. We're not going to do the wrath. Right? I mean, we, we got people, uh, not so much here in this church, but we have fundamental independent Baptists. They have jump ship their their uh, their mid trips. They're they're all over the lot today. It's like there's nothing sacred anymore about that. The only bar is the Bible. They don't know what's going on. They they, they, they give to the news. I don't know what they're listening to. 
Earth is too much of that, that gizmo. And, and if jump, a jump ship, we're not appointed to the wrath. And so uh, it says here, we're put on this armor of God. For God has not appointed to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. When you wake and you hear your name called and you're awakened, and the, you know, the dead shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. First Thessalonians chapter 4. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. You do. We, we should encourage each other and say, man, we're going to be out of here. And if, if we're across the street, we're coming out of that grave alive. But so we have a longing, the longing for the Lord, where a lot of this is, man, it goes into your memory bank. They, they used to say this, if you want to fill the evangelist tent up on the traveling evangelist, just say, or, uh, put up a big banner saying, uh, preaching the end times, you fill it up. Because everybody wants to know just when it's coming. That's the way it's been for 150 years. You want to fill the tent up to say the end times. The longing for the Lord, the running of the, from the Lord, looking for the Lord. But verses 8 through 11, folks were saved. As it says, he, uh, we obtained salvation by our Lord. We're not appointed to wrath. He died for us in verse 10. Whether we wake or sleep, we're going to live together with him. And that is this, in verses 8 to 11, we are leaning on the Lord. In these last times, these, these end ten days, we are to be leaning on the Lord. That no matter what happens, good news, we win. We win. We are to lean on the Lord. And we are to encourage each other in that respect. Leaning on the Lord. That's what we're to do. Now, what did you kids always say after service? Oh, Dad, you preach on this again every week. Well, I can only preach what the Bible says. Another sermon on what? Service. Oh, the wife remembers. Another sermon on service. Another sermon. Well, if it's the end days, what are you busy doing? Did you go up to a mountaintop and wait? Did you sell everything and go to a mountaintop and wait and, sit and hold hands and sing Kumbaya? They do do that. In the year 2000, uh, people sell everything. Uh, they did that in, in 1988. They did that uh, with Weissman. They did that in 1989 with Peter S. Hartman. Let's that other guy in California. I can't think of his name. Oh, Harold Camping. Harold Camping. I don't know how many times he was up. He, he kept throwing the darts at the dark board. I don't know how many times he missed. He missed several times. Everybody's missing. In the year 2000, I don't know if it's Herbert W. Armstrong and that group. Uh, they, the big split, they got saved. I think some of them went to a mountaintop someplace in Jerusalem or, or Israel someplace. And they're, they're singing Kumbaya up there. And they're just waiting for the Lord. Did he come? Was it a waste of time to do that? Yes. So what should we be doing? There's the leaning on the Lord, but we should be laboring for the Lord. Look at verse 12. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and in my should We are to labor. I am the labor, mainly the laborer here in the word. Verse 13. And to esteem them very highly in love Loving for the Lord, for their work's sake, to be at peace among yourselves. Love, loving for the Lord. We have to be at peace with ourselves. Loving those that labor in the word for you and so on. We need to be laboring, loving. Verses 15, I'm getting right, right to the heart of the service. We are to be living for the Lord. Living for the Lord. This is it, folks. This is the, the end days. It's, it, it's the, uh, when 5 o'clock would roll around, now you guys are out. The trucks are on in, in uh, Avon. Truck. How far do your trucks go? Avon, that's pretty far out. 
Anything go farther than Elleria? They go to Elleria. That, that's far, pretty far out. How far east? Yeah, how far east? Anybody go to Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, Akron? Cleveland Heights, Manor. Oh, they go to Manor. That, that's a little bit of long. Some part of that area. Yeah, they go to Manor. But when you're next door working, we ball and chain you to a machine. You're chained there. I hate this job. <laughs> and, you're, and you're like this for 40 years like this. You're engraving. You do get up to change copies. And you're engraving. This is enough. It's all industrial work. This isn't engraving trophies and ink plates for, uh, uh, for your kid. This is, this is heavy duty industrial type engraving. Five o'clock would come. My dad lost track of time. He said, boy, I'm so grateful for the help because I know, I know what, what did he know? He was so grateful for his numbers. They knew when it was what? When to quit. They, he knew when it was quitting time. Time to go home. Well, there were times when we had to get a job out. We had to get, some guys can work better when they're under pressure and other guys can't. We had one guy, he could not work well. The moment there was pressure, he, he just, Fell apart. He fell apart. We would always put him in charge of watching for the UPS truck because we got to make the UPS delivery. And me and the other guy would work double fast because we would get better as we worked faster. Folks, this is it, folks. We need to be living for the Lord. This is it. Make hay what when? While the moon is sunshine. Well, yeah, while the moon is shining. You make hay while the sun is shining, right? The sun is still shining. We're talking about overtime. The moon is out. No, no, no. We're not working. No, we're putting it five. We don't want to do. Huh? We don't want to do one. Yeah, you don't want to do one. Right? There's the living for the Lord. Verse, verse 14. This is what we're going to do in the end times. Now we exhort you, brethren, to warn them that are unruly. Comfort the feeble-minded. Folks are feeble minded Christians. We meet them all the time. And we say, well, we don't want them in our church. Folks, every church needs some feeble-minded people. God loves them. And they're trusting Christ. God saved them. Comfort the people mind. Support the weak. There are weak people. Be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. These are the verses that we know so well, these single liners, but this is what we need to do at the end. This is it, folks. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You want to do as well, do these things. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. So from 14 to 20, uh, verse, uh, 14 to verse 22, we are to be living, living for the Lord. So don't get caught up in YouTube and make some of that other guys. YouTube and what else are they? CNN. Facebook. Instagram. Instagram. CNN. <laughs> don't get caught up in that. Get caught up in living for the Lord. Living for the Lord. Verses 23 and 24. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Folks, that's the only part of our salvation that's ongoing, our sanctification. Because he's still cleansing us, kicking out the nonsense, the sin in our life. He's going to sanctify you holy. And I pray God, your whole spirit, this is one of the strongest verses on the trichotomy of man. Right here. Your whole spirit and soul and body. Spirit, soul, and body. 
be preserved blameless unto the coming of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calls you who also will do it to sanctify us. So we're to be living for the Lord, but there is the loyalty of the Lord. He is loyal to us. Ever, ever loyal to us. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. He's the one that's going to sanctify us holy, body, soul, and spirit. The loyalty of the Lord. Isn't it nice to know he's loyal to the very end? All the way to the end. The loyalty of the Lord. Ah. So is this what you expected for the end days? I didn't give you a day when he comes at when the rapture. I didn't give you any of that. I didn't do my estimating about from the year when he was crucified and adding two, two days or 2,000 years. I didn't do any of that. I'm just going to preach what the Bible says. This is the end times. And how does he reveal this? In verse 27. This is how this is revealed. I charge you by the word that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. There's the letter of the Lord. This is the letter of the Lord as it's read before the people. He says, I charge that this epistle be read before the brethren. The letter of the Lord. It's there for anybody to read. You know, uh, I, I meet people, even some of my own family. Oh, I've read the Bible. They didn't make it out of Genesis. They read a, a couple chapters. They know a little, they, they have a, a, a smattering of, I think that's what it says. Cleanliness is next to God. Heard it in the movie. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. I got one guy right now. He says he gets he uh, Indians got tomahawks out of a rock, like carving the, the rock away from the 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 iron that was in it. Do I know where he saw that? In a movie. I mean, how dumb does it get? <laughs> dumb. Our information comes out of this book. The letter of the Lord. And last of all, there's the last things of the Lord. This is what you need to do last. Verses 25 through 28. Brethren, Pray for us. Greet all the brethren with a holy handshake. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The last things of the Lord, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Shake hands.